Hi there lovelies and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to my YouTube page. My name is Hannah otherwise known as She Wolf This Air and we chat about makeup and travel and just like a little bit of everything over here. So in today's video we are starting a new series whereby I create three different eyeshadow looks using one single palette. So for this week's video we are starting off with the NYX Swear By palette which I picked up a couple weeks ago. So this is my first time using this palette so it will be a combination of like a first impressions review as well as the three looks so for the next couple of weeks I will be doing a different eyeshadow palette per look so keep an eye on my Instagram page and you can help me choose which eyeshadow palettes I should be using of course I'll be using eyeshadow palettes that are currently in my collection but if there are any palettes that you really want me to try out then please let me know and I may just pick them up for you guys so if you guys would like to see how I created these three beautiful looks using the NYX Swear By palette, then just keep watching. Okay, we are zoomed in. I have changed my lighting setup, actually my whole filming setup now. Um, so let me know if it looks nice. Also, please excuse the state of my lips. Winter is just not being kind to them. They are chapping and peeling and just gross. Okay, cool. So my complexion and everything is done. So let's get into the first eye look. I am going to open up this beautiful palette, the NYX Swear By palette. So this palette really does have such a beautiful collection of colors. You've got neutrals, you've got some bright, some dark colors, warm, cool, shimmers. I think it's a really good all-rounder, something that everybody should have in their kit. Obviously, this is the first time I'm using it, so I'll let you know what the um, quality is like from the shadows. But let us start. I'm really feeling these like green colors. And I think just because it's winter here in South Africa now, and I'm just very much drawn to like greens and emeralds and those sort of like beautiful wintry colors. So I think I'm gonna do a green look, the first look. I have just put a little bit of concealer on my lids. I've been used a um, eye primer because um, the concealer works just as well. So I think first off I'm going to go in with a little bit of a transition colour. So I'm going to go in with this top shade over here, it's like kind of brown, and I'm going to sweep that into my crease. I actually also just received my March Live Glam order, the Morphe Me Live Glam. Um, we've got three brushes in this month, so we got nice eye blend blending brushes and also a big fluffy, I have a lot of big fluffy like bronzing powder brushes so I think this may go into my giveaway pile because you know once you have five of them you don't really need more so I think I'm going to use these two new ones you can never have enough blending brushes so I'm using this dense kind of packing brush which is the Morphe M503 so I'm just going to go into that transition shade and work it into my crease Okay, so now that that is laid down, I'm now going to go into this dark green and I'm going to start packing that on the outer corner and working it probably to around like the middle of my eye. Okay, this green is coming up a little bit patchy, but um... I think I, I think I can work with it. I am going to be putting a shimmer um, in the center, so that should help it a little bit. And then I'm just taking a smaller detailed fluffy brush. This is the Morphe um, 411. Um, I'm just going back into that transition shade and just blurring out those harsh edges. It's not looking too bad. I did just take a little bit of a warmer brown, um, this one down here, and I just also blended the edges just because I felt like it wasn't giving me that enough warmth and also kind of blending it out so that it looked a little bit more seamless. The green is quite patchy, um, so I don't know if some of the other colors or the matte colors are also going to be patchy as well, but you can work with it. It's, it's, it is blending, but yeah, it's not very opaque. And the more I pack it on, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but let's get into some shimmers first. I'm going to go into this 
top uh, into this darker green shade over here and I'm gonna place that in the center of my lid. Okay, so this isn't a completely shimmer green. It's um, just got like a slight reflect to it. But it's more so matte than anything else. And now I'm gonna take the shimmery green just above that and place that closer to my inner corner. And now I think I wanna take a little bit of this gold because it kind of has a very slight like greeny undertone to it. I think I wanna place that in my inner corner. Ooh, pretty. So I'm just gonna repeat that same process now on my lower lash line. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to put some mascara and lashes on and I'll be right back. And that is the first look completed. Gone for like a beautiful green kind of smoky eye. First impressions of the palette. The mattes are mm, a little bit kind of patchy when applying. Um, I don't know if it's just that green in particular. Um, obviously, I'm going to be doing two more looks after this, so we'll see what other um, how the other mattes perform but otherwise I am happy with the way it came out um, up close I mean you can see the patchiness but overall it does paint a pretty picture so I think keeping with the like wintry kind of colors I think I'm going to go into maybe like a orangey terracotta look for the next look maybe make it a little bit more wearable as well so Let's get started. Okay, cool. So I think for look number two, I want to create something that's a little bit more wearable. Um, so I think maybe going into these like beautiful like orangey kind of bronzy colors. Also again, great for winter time now. Um, so let us start with this beautiful kind of like carroty kind of color. And I'm gonna place that in my crease. So I'm just going in with the four, uh, Morphe 411 again and I'm just going to gently place that in the crease. Okay, I'm thinking I actually want to make this a little bit of a halo eye, so I'm also going to take that same color and place it on the inner and outer corners as well. And then just leaving a gap in the center where I'm going to place a shimmer. Okay, then going in with my MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to take the color that's just below that, which is a, a nice warm terracotta kind of color, um, and I'm going to place that um, on the outer corner and inner corner just to deepen the color a little bit. And then just going into that chocolatey brown, I'm going to do the same thing on the inner and outer corner. Now I'm just going to take that beautiful coppery shimmery shade just on my finger and literally just swipe that oh, down the center. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just going to repeat those shades on my lower lash line. Really? I'm just dipping into this beautiful, like, pinky rose gold shade and just placing that in my inner corners I'm also just taking a little bit of that and just placing it like right in the center of the lid just so that it really pops that shimmer shade and the light catches it 
can see the difference between the two. Okay, I think I'm going to pop some mascara on and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the second look. Something a little bit more wearable. Um, you could do it with or without lashes as well. Um, I actually really like the way these particular colors performed. I felt like the mattes were a little bit more... A little bit more opaque, not so patchy as well. So all in all, I love this look. Good for summer and winter. All right, so let me remove this and we can move on to the last look. I was actually contemplating doing like five eyeshadow looks per palette. And thank God I didn't because my eyes are already feeling raw after removing two sets of eyeshadow. Anyway, so let's get started on the final look. So I am thinking... Sticking with the winter theme, you know, maybe going into these beautiful like burgundy shades. I'm just I'm not 100% sure what exactly I want to do, but let's have fun with it. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to dip into that beautiful cranberry shade on my Morphe M503. And I'm going to pack that on my outer corner and into my crease. Okay, then I'm just going to take that same brush and dip into that deeper brick red and place it mainly on the outer corner. Now I'm just going to take this 411 Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to go into that very top. It's kind of like a, I want to say like a lilac-y kind of color and I just want to um, diffuse the edges with this shade. It's kind of got like a pink, pinkish hue to it, like a muted pink. Then just on a flat packing brush, this is the Morphe M166. I'm just going to take that kind of darker berry shade and I'm going to pack that in the middle of my eye. And then just with a pointer brush, I'm going to take that more vibrant kind of like berry shimmer shade and just place that in the inner corner. And blend it upwards. And again, going into that beautiful rose gold shade and highlighting. And of course, I'm just going to repeat those shadows on my lower lash line. And this is the final look, a nice warm cranberry eye, which I really actually love wearing because um, it brings out the green in my eyes. Any like colors like this, like burgundies and purples and cranberry shades that really bring out the green. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and the start of my new little series. Let me know which look was your favorite. You can comment it down below. If you don't follow me on Instagram, head on over there. It is at SheWolfSA and I will be putting up a poll each week just to see what eyeshadow you guys would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!